The defendant was being escorted out of the club. He reached for his pockets. A weapon was pulled and it was fired. Lantrell Donnell Williams, a.k.a. Pooh Shiesty, born November 8th, 1999. Even if you aren't familiar with Pooh Shiesty, I'm sure you've seen or heard a rise to fame story that was halted before its peak. If you didn't know, Pooh Shiesty was a rapper on fire in 2020 and 2021 who had amassed millions of views on streaming services and YouTube, along with multiple gold and platinum songs under his belt, a major deal, and a co-sign from one of the biggest rappers in his sub-hip-hop genre of trap and street rap music. He was also only 20 years old at the time, with a future as bright as it could be for a rapper that only began rapping a year or two before his big breaks came. The thing about Shiesty is, these weren't some fake numbers created by a label or some flash in the pan songs that would eventually fade away and this wasn't an artist that catches a fad at the perfect time that the industry pushes but the numbers and fan support don't add up. Pooh Shiesty was actually on target to be a huge rapper in today's hip-hop. He had all the tools, therefore all the potential in the world. Again, he was young, enough to influence generations to come. Seeing rap careers historically don't last very long for rappers getting a late start and it's kinda indicative to life in general. The younger you are, starting anything gives you more time and years to get it right than live in and experience what you've created with a youthful energy. The fans get to go along for the ride much longer as well, which means greater earning potential for the artists having more years to do it. Not to mention the youth are always allowed more room to make mistakes without it threatening their future as much as expectations for them are a lot more relaxed. Along with being in the age of influence and connection to the perfect target audience, Pooh Shiesty was actually a dope rapper with a lot of skills for only rapping for two years that had a very distinct voice that perfectly represented where he was from a la Pop Smoke and sonically matched perfectly on beats and in his street rap genre. Your vocal presence in street or gangster rap music is very important and regardless of age, Shiesty had one of the best in the game. I say that in past tense because who knows how that voice will sound after he's done with his five-year prison sentence he's currently serving for conspiracy charges he pled guilty to in 2022 to avoid the eight years he was facing. His influence was evident, having an entire fashion trend, an actual design of a product named after him the way he spotted his ski mask, now known as the Shiesty Mask globally. In my opinion, Pooh Shiesty could have been a generational rap talent and one of the faces of today's rap music, if not for these reasons. What happened? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth Music. Let's get it, man. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Pooh Shiesty is a rapper from Memphis, Tennessee that grew up in an environment not many make it out or to seeing adulthood. Cane Creek Apartments on the South Side to be exact, known as one of the more dangerous hoods in Memphis. He'd split time between there and Pflugerville, Texas, where he moved in hopes of a better environment, only he dealt with the struggles of re-establishing himself in a totally different hood. He was always into music and was pushed by his brother, who gave him the name Pooh Shiesty, and in 2018, he was featured on the song Breaking News that rose his notoriety in Memphis and went viral, giving Pooh his first national look as well. Fans would even randomly ride past his hood because they heard him mention it in his music, specifically the Breaking News video that caught the attention of Gucci Mane, who signed him to his 1017 label in joint with Atlantic Records. Pooh Shiesty was on the way up from there, becoming one of the best upcoming rappers in the game in just two years. Stunt number one, blood in, blood out. One of the most interesting things about rap music, specifically street rap, is the hallway walls its rappers live in between, where on one side you're trying to or have somewhat made it out the street environment you grew up in that made you who you are and is the reason you're so relatable to that audience 
but on the other side, you're still a street person yourself and surrounded by other street individuals you've built friendships and relationships with who grew as close as family, only they haven't made it out as yet like you have. You being around them as you've always done before the fame can now hurt everything you've built and for them take away the only hope that community had at the time if things were to go wrong. Things did take a turn for the worse in 2022 when Pooh Shiesty was sentenced to five years in prison for a shooting and armed robbery situation went bad, eventually leading to Shiesty pleading guilty to charges of conspiracy to possess a firearm and discharge a firearm. The entire event was caught on tape and in the video it shows what was alleged to be Pooh Shiesty and other individuals pulling up to meet the victims who were there to sell them marijuana and a pair of high-end shoes. Police say Shiesty and crew had intentions to rob these individuals from the start. His defense argued none of it could be proven beyond reasonable doubt Shiesty had anything to do with the shooting that injured two people even with the video. Pooh Shiesty, instead of going to prison for 8 to 20 years, pled guilty to lesser charges of conspiracy and was given 5 years April 2020, credited for the year he was already in jail, arrested in connection to a shooting at a strip club in Northwest Miami Day, June 2021. His defense attorney also made the point that Pooh Shiesty was a millionaire and one of the top upcoming rappers who had no need to rob a guy for a pair of sneakers and recreational drugs. And that's exactly what I mean by blood in, blood out. His connections to the streets he knew and what made him before the fame and money ultimately was strong enough to pull him to that side of the hallway and commit an act he had no reason to other than that's the influence of the people around him and the fans who want to see their rappers live out what they rap. It's not easy to remove yourself from that environment unless dead or in jail. It all got him caught up and now he's doing major time in jail, taking away a lot of the potential he once had. Stunt number 2. Losing Development Time No matter how you slice it, a 5-year prison sentence will definitely make Pooh Shiesty a different rapper than he was before. It's expected he won't do the full 5 years but even 2-3 is enough time to threaten him ever getting to the point where he was before. And even if he does, which I hope happens, the energy isn't the same as when he was still young 20s, dropping fire verses every time and pulling up to everyone's hood to shoot the music video with acceptance everywhere he went. Coming off the pandemic and the shysty mask wave, he was absolutely scorching and had the look, the sound and the street love to propel him as far as a street rapper can go in music. Certainly the level of an accomplished rapper by now with his own sub-label popping off with artists making a name for themselves in their own right. Of course it's not over yet but losing those years of a peak most rappers never get was a major growth stunt. He was just on the cover of XXL a year before in 2021 and then he's behind bars for a pointless shooting that could have been much worse had the victims been fatally injured. Working against Shiesty is also the historical reality that rappers who spend extended time in jail never really get out and sound as good as they did prior, a la his labelhead Gucci Mane, Rallo, Bobby Schmurder and more. Much of it has to do with not having those studio sessions and stage appearances to work on their craft and protecting being the face of a brand they created and some of it is they haven't been connected to the environment for some time so don't relate to the feel of the streets as it once was before they left. Fans have grown a bit and also moved on to other artists and genres as well, costing Pooh Shiesty likely a lot more than time in prison a time he could have polished his career and bring himself closer to his potential. Stun number 3. There is no third growth stun for Pooh Shiesty as I strongly bet in his favor to come home and still be a star. Contingent on his voice when he gets out that is, assuming he hasn't lost a step in that department and his writing skills whatever his process may be. He's still only 24 years old at this point after having done nearly 3 years in already. Talented artists may lose their opportunity to capitalize like a Bobby Shmurda 
but generational talent gets second chances. It's how the world works. I see an artist like Pusha D as violent as his content is, one of those influences of the next generation in his sound, look, and street music. He was that unique in the short time he did have in the game, and at 26, 27, at his possible time of release, he could still be a part of the youth wave, and the hype surrounding his release can make him even more successful. All in all, no question Pooh Shiesty deserved to be punished for the crimes he did plead to and was sentenced for, but I do believe in his rap resurgence after he served his time, and who knows, maybe he comes back and becomes one of the biggest in the game. With the talent he displayed in the past, it's certainly possible, but for these reasons, his growth is currently being stunted. Salute, much respect, it's your boy JC Stunted Growth Music, and I'm out.